then we're back again. Just a quick cheeky charge for the uh, for the camera there after copying a few files off for about 15 minutes. But now the projector's on, so uh, my projector bulb hours are worth too much, mate. DJ Boy, I remember that reviewed in the CVG uh, Guide to Consoles as well. Yeah, been through those, those. Bubbling squeak wheel playing with it. Yeah, it's a lot more uh, in uh, impressive in the number of commercial games than the uh, 620 or 500 in one NES bootleg, which costs the same money. Although the 620 in one is actually uh, pretty damn good audio, video quality, color saturation is a bit over the top, but yeah, nothing that damages the console experience. You can always turn the color down as you could with this. C64 Spectrum. It has a joystick there, it needs a bit of WD40. Yeah, there's loads of games missing that I'd want, but um, yeah, Monaco Grand Prix. Yeah, no, no Ray Den, James Bond. Let's do it this way. I don't really like Road Blasters, even the arcade version. So, uh, that must be the Domark game. Yeah, let's give that a go. My mum rang me up to tell me tomorrow keep a torch on you at all times. Because uh, there's going to be like hurricane winds and uh, they've had power cuts where my sister lives. And I was like, no, nah, I've never known that. I wouldn't have checked the weather. I like this weather. I only check the weather when it's shitty fucking hot weather. Fuck off. Don't like that at all. Yeah, this, this is on the Amiga and it's really good. Definitely uh, give that a go. Yeah, I should have knockout. That sounds good to me. There we go with that. Uh, left, right. I don't want to shift up and down. All right. Good, good. Sounds like an out of tune, uh, very sick. Yamaha DX7 here. Yeah. It's a shame really. Gonna have to try and fix that. The engineer in me wants to fix that. Let's go Ferrari. Oh yeah, because of course there's... Where would Schumacher be then? Benetton? Yeah, there we go. Good old Schumacher. It's forcing me half oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, these are all the old lap records then, aren't they? Uh, interesting, interesting. Okie dokie. Right, auto gearbox. Well, what's that then? Fuel? I'll uh, leave that. Hard tyres? No, you don't want hard tyres. Gave me a shit setup on purpose. Okay, half the screen's missing. I can't remember about the Amiga version. But it seems to be running like um, Vroom, V-R-O-O-M, which is the first F1 game's uh, uh, origins. 
Um, so not quite as fast as um, on the Atari ST, although only F1 came out, not F1 World Championship for the ST. That was only on the Mega Drive and Amiga, which was uh, an update to F1. World Championship is the sequel. Yeah, crap. I really didn't want these tyres. Where's everyone else gone? And hey, it's a neat engine, but on the Mega Drive you expect more. Because there's so many sprites. And go and play Outrun on the Mega Drive. Very impressive. I'm not saying it's arcade perfect, but it's the best version. Then it's a PC engine, which is a little bit less refined looking. That stupid line on the screen still. No, it's gone now. Stupid camera. And now what the hell people uh, record their TV screens with? Well, the 1% uh, that actually managed to get decent video quality. Not everyone else has got the same shit quality I've got. Most of them are done on a fucking phone. A fucking phone! I should put that clip in from uh, Pulp Fiction. I'm trying to remember the actor's name. He's the one who gets shot in Reservoir Dogs. And he's in the scene with Amanda Plump in the diner. That's a nice diner. If I had like a 300 foot garden or something, I'd build a small replica American diner. Nah, they did have style, loads of chrome uh, bar stools, all that shit. Just for me. No one's allowed around my house, sorry mate. That's just the way it is. My psychiatry said it would be for the, <laughs> for the best. <laughs> if you believe that shit, you believe anything. <laughs> Well, I thought it was funny anyway. Yeah, to be honest, I think we've seen enough. Battery life is at a premium. One of these buttons turned off the music. It might save some of the battery, but they don't, so... So yeah, we're up to bubbling squeak. Super Mario 2, I don't really want to play a knockoff. If you want to play that, play it on the NES or the SNES. Yeah, that looks horrible. That looks like an ST game. S for 16, T for 32, the Atari 520 ST. Now, never had that either. Contra, now. Did I play this? I can't remember, you know. Sounds very early 80s. Not bad, actually. Probably because of the distortion. Probably saying shit on a real Mega one. <coughs> horrendous game on the Amiga. Absolutely horrendous. All right. Press the start button on anything, which changes the option, that's a bit silly. Start should start the game. Yeah, it's alright. Well, we can't actually change anything, because we've got no money. We're broke, innit? Something Commodore 64 about the way this looks. I'll forgive the sound because that might be uh, the distortion. I'll have to try it on a real machine. <coughs> Damn you, roll up, go out. Stop trying to make me lose the race. What are those stupid speech bubbles, loser? I call me a loser. I've got a better car than this piece of shit. No imagination, all the cars are the same. I don't know why you'd have that. It's 
some rubbish uh, fucking 3D program generated shit there. Ouch. What the car? Be more than that, or should be uh, no claims bonus fuck, but I guess they can't fit that in the speech bubble. In it, in it man. In it. <laughs> I used to have a friendly laugh like that. Buggy boy, for fuck's sake, that's what them things remind me of. Uh, it's probably what a Commodore C65 game would look like, mate. Might be easier to go this way now, right? Yeah, seeing Raiden, right blah blah blah. We were on top gear, weren't we? Oh, there's another Mickey Mouse game there, so you get three of them, that's not bad. Don't get land of illusion. And I don't mean the Genesis song. Behave yourselves, please. Yeah, Thunder Force 3 is great. This is one of the first games I've got. This is probably the reason I've got the Mega Drive, actually. If it was a launch title. Japanese launch title, thank you. I, I got an import uh, Mega Drive from Adams World in Enfield Town. Yeah, never mind a demonstration. Batteries are dying here, mate. Yeah, you can pick what level you start on. Yeah, it's a shame the sound's distorted. I, I like this tune. Generally, this is quite nice music on this thing. Yeah, many happy memories of playing this as a teenager. I had a Hong Kong Mega Drive. So that was uh, 50 hertz. POW on the RF. Uh, I don't think I've still got that Mega Drive. Sadly, uh, I either left that behind when I worked abroad, uh, when I come back, or I sold it when I was buying a house. Sold loads of stuff. Sold my PlayStation then as well. Sold my uh, Amiga 2000. Yeah, this is a great game. You could easily do this on your Amiga 1200. That's a bit iffy, that is. It's Vanguard, you see. It's a real good update of Vanguard. With a nice uh, flair. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, if you press the button, they go down fast. A good, good arcade uh, coding there. That's the one we go to. Yes, like this music I liked as well. I think there was three tunes I liked on it. They're right up there with Gauntlet 4. Yeah, that's your clue, cool, mate. You're gonna need that. Trust me on that one, bro. Yeah, there is a bit too much joystick travel here. I think you control your own speed ups on this shit. So you have to find the one that's right for you. Yeah, the, oh, I was just going to say the joystick don't feel too bad. That's yeah, a really good game. Could definitely do this on your Amiga 1200. I mean, you just use uh, all the uh, AGA sprites, 
64 pixel wide 16 color ones as the uh, background layer or something. And just right to the uh, sprite defined location to create a virtual playthrough. That's how you do a uh, parallax scroll. And everything else would just be uh, on the top. Sprites either covering everything or showing through color zero on the, uh, the bitmap. So you wouldn't use the uh, Amiga sprites for like actual ships or bullets or anything, you only get eight. And there are only three colours if you want eight. If you want 16 colour ones, so Atari ST quality, uh, you can only have four. But they can be 64 pixels wide instead of uh, just 16. So, oh, yes, quick, quick, quick. Oh, Golden Axe. Let's play Golden Axe. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was either Afterburner. Or, um, nah. well, I've got Alex Kid with it, but I bought at least one game with it. Fucking hell, that's going slow, isn't it? One or two players start, yeah, good luck with that one, mate. Of course, I've got to be the bird. Don't be stupid, mate. I'm not he man. Uh, addict. Groove P. Yeah, that looks a bit weird on the camera there. Ah, oh, the camera battery's flashing already. Shit. Music stuff. I always do this. Do this on the real Mega Drive as well. Press the fucking magic button first because it's the one nearest the joystick. Stroke D pad. Battery lights flashing on the old camera. I don't think I'm quite finished yet. So the game's running fine, it's just the music emulation is really slow. Could be the American ROM though. I think there's two buttons you press together. And, or is it you, you jump and, yeah that's it, you jump and go into it. Yeah, Thunder Force 3 or uh, Afterburner was probably the reason why I bought a Mega Drive as soon as they came out, you know, the Japanese Hong Kong one. And I used it with RF as well. <laughs> <coughs> and then I just used the, um, the audio from their headphones jack, because it was a high def stereo sound labeled model. There we go. So I was just getting fed up with shit conversions of things like uh, Afterburner on the Amiga. And I was like, ah, fuck it, look at Afterburner on here. But it might have been Thunder Force 3 or both at the same time. But they would have had to have been uh, when the Hong Kong model was released, which is a Japanese model. By supports uh, 240 volts and 50 hertz. I think, well, they might have given, no, it was a Seeger charger. Yeah, the audio is a bit buggered, but uh, there's a bit of magic, quick magic, their mini. And of course, you pick this thing up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if you can uh, somehow hack this, hack this, and get it to all oh, Xenon 2. I'm curious about Xenon 2. <laughs> it's a fucking crack copy, and it look <laughs> magical presents. I don't think it was magical. Mind you, very few people had uh, those uh, cartridge to disc copying devices anyway. 
think my mate at uni had one of them. Shame it don't let you switch between NTSC and PAL. I will piss off like most fucking crap trolls are useless. Horrendous, we'll skip past that. One player game. Music off. I think for this uh, particular emulation, that's a fucking hell, this is slow, isn't it? Is it meant to be this bloody slow? The other buttons do it. nothing. I'm not getting a burn on my fingers from the cigarette for this shit. There's no rapid fire, is it? No, that's what you want. I remember that being a thing. Because then you can go up here and shoot them from uh, further up, you see. Yeah. Doesn't really see many better than the Amiga version, which I don't like in it. I wouldn't have bought this on the real hardware anyway. Like I said, I, I didn't like the Amiga version, not my cup of tea, mate. Button to like reverse time or some shit like that. And we just both no. Nearly got fucking killed trying to. How do you do? Or is that a power up there? Yeah. I don't know. How, do you hold the button? No, it's not I'm holding the button. I give you a shit auto fire rate as well. Fucking cunts. Actually, I was watching my video of. Uh, uh, the getaway on the PS2 and I actually feel like playing that now <laughs> so I might set that up after this while the camera charges there's loads of games on here though that's a bargain mate even with a fuck sound absolutely a bargain getting at least 140 commercial games here built into a nice simple package alright the fire buttons are a bit wank but joystick is not bad you can easily get around the battery problem, that's no problem at all, actually. A few wires and uh, a 6 volt multi volt charger thing. I doubt it draws a lot of amperage because it runs on four double A's. Let's try Mark of Madness. Might even sound good. Uh, electronic farts again. Oh, they're in the news, aren't they? Why have I said that already? I noticed it was a question on um, Mainmeister's uh, Friday Waffle from last week. Be interested to hear about that. EA and Nintendo are having some problems. Uh, I did look into that actually. Yeah, uh, it's quite a complex situation. But I, I think I would uh, definitely go on EA's side there. I think they haven't done anything wrong. It's, it's not on purpose. It's down to what Nintendo made.